night. There's our morning view. Can't beat it. So, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some rock fishing. We went to our initial spot we had planned to launch and there's probably like 20 elephant seals and two really big males. So the males have, can be aggressive and they're, I don't even know how many thousands of pounds they weigh, but they're huge. No kayak right. fishing here. <laughs> so we had to change gears. Um, we're at a little different location. It, it's a little protected by this cove with a direction of swell. And the swell's not supposed to be too big. So um, it looks doable. As long as we get out, things will be fine. Um, but yeah, gonna be doing some rock fishing. It's usually really good fishing. So stay tuned and hopefully get on some fish. As you can tell, my launch, still figuring out this new kayak. <laughs> uh, that's kind of why I wore the wetsuit. I was thinking, I mean, we've had seven, eight foot swells all week on the central coast. So I was worried about today. It wasn't that bad. It's just, that was an operator error on my end. We're on the water successfully. We're shooting out to the grounds. It's like, it's probably two miles pedal not that far um there's a huge reef off this coast that's like i don't even know a mile two mile long reef it's huge and the fishing's usually really good so this is like early december so we're into the winter months which is typically the rock fishing does pick up pretty well in the winter months so yeah we'll see i have no doubt we'll get on some fish if we get on a lot of fish that'd be awesome but yeah it's always fun to get soaking wet <laughs> to start the morning it's a new kayak so that's my excuse and technically that's only the second surf launch I've ever done in this kayak so the first one was the same outcome I basically like lost all my shit almost and yeah still figuring the thing out <laughs> we got a lot of kelp around us but anyways guys stay tuned like I said should be some fun fishing if I can get through this kelp bed. Beautiful day, honestly. Gorgeous. All right, guys, here's a little expert tip. If you're going rock fishing, you basically are relying on structure or you're looking for structure. If you find structure, you'll find the fish. So this app, I don't know how well you can see it. It's called Navy Onyx. It's 14 bucks uh, annually. To pay for it and you get all these cool features that actually shows you um, structure all up and down the coast so there's a setting called relief shading and once you set that relief shading in I can see I mean literally see structure and the rocks and everything so what I do is I set my phone to airplane mode because this works off of internet connection and I leave, I set the screen to, so it doesn't auto lock, it just stays on. And I set it right here next to me under my fish finder. And so there you go. I can basically reference this to see, those are all rock piles. I can see the reef that I'm headed to. So using that in combination with the fish finder is a pretty deadly combo. Again, it's called Navy Onyx. It's uh, 14 bucks or 15 bucks annually and it's worth every penny I definitely recommend it so check it out this is what I'm running it's a purple and orange tube bait up to a three-way swivel 
And the three-way swivel, you gotta offset them so make one longer than the other. And basically when you jig them, they just kind of jump up around and swim around each other. And for whatever reason, the reds and all rockfish really just freaking love it. It's lights out. This is all courtesy to Brian and Mike. They taught me this. And they've, they're onto something because it's usually night and day, honestly. All right, fish on. Feels like a good one. Oh, look at that. Double reds to start. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. That's awesome. There you go, people. It's a good start to the day. This thing's a really sharp everything. <laughs> why I wear these gloves. I usually wear it on my left hand. That's typically what's handling the fish. Two quality reds right there. Go back to that spot. <laughs> well, I found them, then I lost them, then I found them. There we go. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> what are you using? Swim bait? Oh, shit. Hold on. Huh? Link cod. Um, two baits. I don't know if he's legal. Woo! Sling cod's gonna bite me. Jesus. Oh, you might be legal. Did bring a tape. Hook up. Yeah. Probably twenty three inches. I think I'm gonna let him go. I don't know, he's kinda whenever they're close I'll, I'll if it's close I'll typically let him go. Is what is it? 22 is the limit, the legal, right? 22. 21, no. I thought it was 22. 22? No, nah, I'm gonna let him go. Let I'm, see your bait? I'm looking for the, the 40 incher. See you later, bud. Get bigger. Like my oh my god. Oh! <laughs> what is this? This might be a double. I don't know. It's fighting pretty good. Oh, here we go. Here's my keeper, Ling. My net's on the wrong side. Ew! It went calmly. That's a keeper. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, buddy. Ah, I poked him in the eye. Sorry, bud. There we go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Love it, dude. Love it. Again, 12 incher. Oh no! I just dropped my pliers. I got an extra set. Damn it. All right, another lean cod. Pretty, pretty fish. Not big enough. Go get bigger. I don't know how much it's how effective it is for fishing in an ocean. Yeah, because currents and stuff. Look at that, another ling. I'm fucking getting tired of you little gophers. Alright, buddy. Go get bigger. Get bigger. Swim off. Come on. You're a little tired of these gophers. He swam pretty slow. That didn't take long. <laughs> nice. Ah. Oh, yep. We're on them, dude. There's fish finders screaming. I just threw on a huge swim bait. Ugh. It's cut. <laughs> Come to me! Link card. Nice red. Oh, that's a freaking tank, dude. We'll keep it. A little variety. See if I get better at cleaning them. Twenty-two, I'm pretty sure. And I think it's two, right? Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> this might be a ling. <laughs> this might be a ling. Be my 40 incher. Oh yeah. Ling cod. That's a good one. Not 40 inches, but I'll take it. That that top hook. Top one? Yeah. This guy's gonna get away. Or he's gonna bite me. I don't know. Link cod is trying to flip me over. The foul hooked him. Look at that, double Johnny basses. That's cool. <laughs> that a copper. Oh no, it's red. Sweet. I think I don't know if this is a red or not. Yeah, it is. Didn't feel like he was on the bottom. Hey, my body is sucking pussy. I don't know. It looks pretty bad. Dude, I. Oh, big old Johnny Bass. These? Oh yeah, the olives. Olives? Those things don't poke me, bud.
Can we get out of here? Yeah. Alright, this part's kind of tricky. I gotta try not to fall in. Can't turn around without rolling. The wind's picking up. We're uh, we're gonna get out of here. It's like 10, 15 a.m. We launched right at I don't know. We were probably paddling out 7:30, 8-ish, even earlier than that, like 7, 7:15. So a quick little three-hour session. Um, the wind was expected to pick up, so the plan was to just get on and get off. So pretty epic. I got uh, two lean cod and I think eight. Um, there are seven red vermilion rockfish and uh, one copper rockfish. So two fish shy of a, uh, a full limit. Not bad, definitely uh, I'm happy with that. That's, that's a lot of meat. So yeah, we're gonna head in now. So clean these fish up and uh, go watch some football. Check it out, folks. It's a sunfish. Oh, I just dove. That's rock fishing for you. Once you get on them, it's it's one after another. Um, everything was caught on those two baits, the, the purple one and then the orange one, and just do a three-way swivel, and then make sure you offset them so they don't get tangled. Um, 
fishing from like 90 to 110 feet uh, pretty much all day and yeah beautiful conditions that sunfish that was awesome the elephant seals in the morning I mean it was an adventure that was pretty cool so yeah if you don't the spot we were gonna launch we get there in the morning and there's like 20 elephant seals like directly on the path we would have to take to get to the launch and there was two really large males so yeah that's we would have to basically fight that thing to the death in order to launch I don't think he's giving up the beach definitely not um, those things are pretty quick too so yeah don't uh, don't poke the bear <laughs> I think it was a good idea that we launched from the pier even though I fell in twice and so did the guy I was fishing with so <laughs> but caught some fish so it was all worth it um, let's see I left my house at 5 a.m. it's about 2 15 and I'll be pulling in shortly so by the time I get all the gear put away and the fish put on ice, probably 3.30, 4 o'clock, I'll be everything put away, take a shower, kick back. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Like the channel, subscribe. Got more coming. Just uh, weekend warrior, basically. Fishing when I can. So thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time.